Hi, we're finally to the point where we can review all the exciting reasons that we need to have line item profit analytics. Uh, first of all, if we read the Islands of Profit and Sea of Red Ink, uh, we can suspect that we have huge cross subsidies amongst customers and products lurking underneath our financial averages, but we wouldn't know what they are until we have line item profit analytics that allow us to roll those up, that quantum profit information up to have the ranking reports. Once we have the ranking reports, then we can identify subsets of customers that fall within a given niche. And our whole next section is on nicheonomics and how to discern what the service value equation is for each niche and within that niche uh, how much of the, pro the services are bundled into the price we pay or the customer pays as opposed to small customers we're going to start to unbundle and charge for some of the services so that we can make a profit on them not over service them and, and underprice them and lose on them. The, uh, and once we have this information, then we can start to, to do these things, which I think you can read. Um, we know the most profitable guys uh, in the top 30 customers. We could kind of go down that list and start to put them in piles. So, well, who is this guy and what is he, how's he buy and what's he buy and so forth? Okay, well, they'll, we'll put him over and he can be a, uh, a lead uh, uh, customer for uh, people like him and we go five more down we find another person that sort of f falls in that pile and we may have two three four five niches that are represented by uh, these profitable customers in the top 30. Uh, once we have two three four five guys we can go find another 30 40 weight on the list put them all in one pot do a customer or an item uh, profitability popularity report and then tune our fill rates for a target niche. Uh, we can find the boundaries for, for service models and so forth. Um, we'll start, we'll find out actually that, that we have too many reps making too many calls on what I call B and C, lower level customers that can't really support the outside cost of a, of a, of a, of a rep anymore. Um, and we'll come across the issue of, gee, the sales force won't like any of this stuff, but with line item profit analytics, we can take a general problem, the sales force won't like it, and break it into a small, let's look at each salesperson, each territory, and solve the pieces one at a time. And so we can. Um, we'll be able to do deep dive analytic investigation uh, reports to find out what the root causes of the extreme profits and losses are. Uh, we get everybody going on the five by five uh, and so forth. So uh, hopefully you're all cranked up to, to, uh, to make a big new effort in your, your line item profit analytics area. Uh, thanks. Let's go to the next clip.